October Red Boxing. Oh, I like that. I like that. I'm trying to get more horsepower. I was just thinking about it on the airplane ride over here. Like, I need to finish that project. But you look a lot younger than that. 16 in 1987. I mean, we don't know how to do math. I'm just throwing some numbers out there. Just ignore me sometimes. I like what they were talking about and, and how the direction they wanted to move with Ben. So for me, being a part of that team uh, was an honor to be selected. And for me, I just want to do my best for the fighter and uh, help them to succeed and be successful. What, who's took the light? The light's gone. Never mind. Ready! <laughs> Oh, you're too kind. October Red Boxing. Oh, I like that. I like that. But you need to be in focus. I want to give I had to do that. I had to do that at the airport. You know, eye scan, passport. So I don't travel. I don't travel that much. Is that what they're doing now? Yeah, they got it new now. You can just put your passport in, and it does an eye scan. So I'm just. I think we're happy that we're happy with your identity. We definitely know that it's Sugar Hill. Make sure it's authentic. You are authentic, and that is one word I would definitely say about you. But how? Before we start, how is the uh, Mustang T Top GT 600 horsepower car going? Have you renovated it yet? Have you done it? Have you put that engine in there? I'm trying to get more horsepower. I was just thinking about it on the airplane ride over here. Like, I need to finish that project. So it's at home. I'm, uh, I've got one of my other cars in the shop right now, and uh, when that comes out, then I'm going to put the Mustang in the shop, and uh, let's get some more Motor City Detroit horsepower in that. How much are you looking to go up to? I don't know. I mean, I don't drive like I used to anymore, and I'm barely home, so I don't know what all that horsepower is going to do just sitting in the garage but get mad at me. But it's an absolute classic. I do like the Mustang, and in fact, I do like the new models that they've made, but I think they've only gone up to 500 brake horsepower in the UK. I do like the new Mustangs, uh, but I like my 87 a lot better because it's, it's, it's uh, rare, it's unique, and it's a T-top. And it was one of the cars that I wanted, like my first car, like when it came out in 87, I was like, I think I was just turning 16, so I was like, oh, I want that car, I want that car. But you look a lot younger than that, 16 in 1987. I mean, we don't know how to do math, I'm just throwing some numbers out there, just ignore me sometimes. Anyway, we're going to move back on to boxing. A big congratulations to be working with the Olympian, Ben Whitaker. What made... Because you come across to me, somebody that studies people, you are not going to train just anyone. Uh, you mentioned before that boxing is like a family. So if somebody is part of your family, they've got to have something about them. So what was it about Ben that made you say, yeah, I'm going to train him? Well, for me, it was the conversations I had with Ben and the conversations I've had with his father. And uh, that's what really kicked it off. I like what they were talking about and, and how the direction they wanted to move with Ben. Ben said the same thing his father said, and, and those things were right up my alley. I was, uh, first of all, I was honored to be selected by him and his father uh, with Ben's high credentials and everybody wanting to, to train him and wanting to manage him and promote him and things like that. So for me, being a part of that team uh, was an honor to be selected. And for me, I just want to do my best for the fighter and uh, help them to succeed and be successful. We talk about fighters and the style. Ben's got quite a slick style. I think his style's more suited to pro anyway. He's not typically that amateur style boxer. You're somebody that comes from the reputation of having the fighters that then provide that power. How do you intend to adjust Ben, or not, not adjust him because he is who he is as a fighter, how will you develop him into that, I don't know, possible knockout artist? Actually, it's a lot of talking. I can't tell you everything because it is a lot, it's a lot of talking, things that can't be, I mean, it's not made up, it's not rehearsed, you know, just every day me getting to know him, him getting to know me, and me learning him. I've got to learn him, he's got to learn me. And that will determine how long it will take and which route that I take to teach him to what he needs to learn. A lot of trainers, you can say that sometimes they mold or try and mold the fighters into what they want them to be. But you've just said something that's key there. You learn from your fighters. It's almost like that, like parenting. 
you know when you have your kids they also teach you it's not just about you telling them everything that would be the family thing then there you go so yeah it, it makes perfect it makes perfect sense uh what you're saying and what i'm saying and and understanding it but it, yeah it's that's where the family comes in at because this man has to be like my family i have to treat him like that and he has to look at me like i'm family and that way we can get along we can gel we can bond and there's a certain trust level that has to be built to go out there and, and, and go into battle. It's that third eye, it's being able to see what your fighter can't. Uh, unfortunately, I've got to wrap this up. My interviews always get interrupted. We're going to have to carry this on another time, but it's been an absolute pleasure, short and sweet, to speak to you, Sugar. Thank you, Abs. I like the sweet part, not the short part. <laughs> not you. Conversation was short, not you. He's tall, really. Until the next time, lovely to meet you. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.